Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing one of the most important dates in the Harry Potter story, and that is of course the day that Lord Voldemort travelled to Godric's Hollow to murder the Potters. More specifically, I'm going to be discussing the actions of Albus Dumbledore and Rubius Hagrid immediately after the Potters were murdered by Voldemort. When the Potters were murdered, it was a shock to everyone particularly as seemingly every preventative measure had been put in place to keep them safe. When Sybil Trelawney announced the fabled prophecy, and that the one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches, Voldemort went into panic mode. At this point in time, he was at the height of his power, and as a result of his legions of followers, was seemingly untouchable. This meant that the imminent threat of a prophecy in his defeat was at the forefront of his mind, and it also meant that he would do whatever it took to make sure the Potters the family whom he was certain the prophecy pertained to were killed. The primary defence protecting the Potters was the Fidelius Charm, a powerful piece of magic involving a secret keeper, a witch or wizard that conceals a secret inside of their soul. In this instance, the secret was the location of the Potters. Normally, this sort of magic would have worked perfectly and protected the Potters. However, the poor choice was made to make Peter Pettigrew secret keeper, and he inevitably gave them away to the Dark Lord. And so, on the night of October 31st, Voldemort travelled to the Potter Cottage, with the knowledge of their whereabouts. When the Dark Lord finally entered the Godric's Hollow home, it wasn't long before he made quick work of James Potter. From there, he began making his way into the room with Lily and Harry. Voldemort's target was Harry. This was because he was the chosen one, the boy with the power to vanquish him. Voldemort went straight for Harry. However, when Lily got in the way, Voldemort put an end to her life. However, what he didn't know was that Lily had cast a loving sacrifice, a means of ending her life to protect Harry's. This meant that when Voldemort finally fired his killing curse at Harry, it rebounded back at him, effectively ending his reign of power for a little while. But one thing peculiar about that night is that Hagrid and Dumbledore were seemingly aware of the Potter's death nearly instantaneously. Neither Hagrid nor Dumbledore was secret keeper, so just how did they learn of their deaths so quickly? No problems, were there? Dumbledore asked. No sir, house was almost destroyed, but I got him out alright before the muggles started swarming around. He fell asleep as we were flying over Bristol. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall bent forward over the bundle of blankets. Inside, just visible, was a baby boy, fast asleep. Under a tuft of jet black hair over his forehead, they could see a curiously shaped cut, like a bolt of lightning. So, if the house was almost destroyed, which would certainly draw a lot of attention, how on earth could Hagrid have gotten there before muggles started swarming around? If a house in my neighbourhood blew up, I'm fairly certain that people would arrive within minutes, if not seconds. So how was Hagrid there? I'm fairly sure that it would have been Dumbledore who instructed Hagrid to go and pick Harry up. So more importantly, how did Dumbledore know? I won't lie, the very fact that Dumbledore knew of their deaths so quickly is a bit suspect, and it makes my mind question the morality of his character. However, I'm not going to elaborate on that further, because it turns out that JK Rowling has actually addressed this issue in an interview. How did Dumbledore find out about what happened in Godric's Hollow? And what happened? There's this whole 24 hours that people have been fantasizing about for years. Yeah, I know. I've got a bit of a problem with this myself, because every time I think it's straight in my head, I go back and look at what the fans are theorizing about, and I think, yeah, maybe they've got a point. Dumbledore. Well, there's an easy answer to how would Dumbledore know. Yeah, so okay. Obviously Dumbledore could cast a spell on a dwelling that would immediately alert him if something happened to it, so he could know instantaneously. That's not a problem at all, and then he could dispatch Hagrid, and so on. This is not an amazing answer, but it's an answer nonetheless, and it does sort of make sense. Why wouldn't a powerful wizard like Dumbledore be able to set up a form of tripwire type magic? It's a level of magic that would certainly not be beyond a powerful sorcerer such as himself. Though less exciting than the prospect of Dumbledore being evil and allowing the Potters to be killed, it turns out that this is the answer. And that's it for this video. Did you guys know the answer to this question? Do you think Rowling is covering up Dumbledore's true nature? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, there is plenty to be learned even from a bad teacher. What not to do, how not to be.